Hey everyone, this is a video I wanted to put together about hooking up an Xbox controller to control your CNC router parts. Uh, I have a Pro 4896, but uh, it'll work on any of the CNC router parts uh, machines with running Mach 3. Um, so to all the links for everything that I'm doing here will be down in the description box. Uh, but first thing you want to do is you want to go over to Mach 3's website. So easiest way for me is just a good Mach 3 and Google. And then you go to the first link there, their website. You go to software and downloads, then Mach 3. Then over here on the side, you'll see where it says plugins. You go ahead and click that, and then you'll scroll all the way down. And you got two to choose from. You got Xbox 360 controller. And then you have Xbox the shilling plugin. The shilling plugin, as you can see here, it gives you a whole lot of different adjustments and and everything else. It's a little, it's not for my needs. It may be for your needs, but it's the it's the same same type of deal when we're installing these. You either pick a shillings one or the Xbox 360 controller one. This one is more intuitive, I guess you could say and uh, a little bit simpler on the options so we'll go ahead and, and click download and then it'll download there down there in the corner and, uh, and then the next thing is you'll follow the other link in the description and once you follow that link you'll come to Microsoft's website and you want to scroll down a little bit and you want to go to downloads and over here you'll go ahead and pick your operating system that you're using. I was using 64-bit so I went ahead and download that. That's what I have on my computer on my machine is Windows 7 64-bit because I'm using an Ethernet smooth stepper. I'm not using the parallel port so 64-bit will work. Uh, yeah so go ahead and click that and then download that and then once you have all those downloaded then we'll need to Go find our DLL file, which will be here for me. So then we'll right click on it, we'll copy it, and then we'll go over to our C drive, and then we'll find our Mach 3 folder. Okay, and then we'll double click that, and then we'll go to plugins, and double click that, and then in the white space there right click and go to paste and you'll see your DLL file installed so once you did that then you can exit out of those and I already installed the Windows uh, driver but when it downloads see we'll just download it here real quick Right, right there and then we'll click that where it start downloading and then you'll want to double click that and just install it I'm not going to do it on this computer because this isn't my CNC computer this is my main rendering cam software whatever computer so uh, go ahead and do that and once you do that then we'll go ahead and we'll load up Mach 3 okay double click and we'll pick our profile. I'm just that's just test computer, so I'll just push OK. Okay, and then now we're in Mach 3 here. Now we want to go over to configure, config plugins, and we'll see that our Xbox controller showed up right there. And we'll go ahead and click the red X, turn it green, and then. To access the options on this one, you just in the same screen, the config plugin, just go over here and click on config, and then now it's showing up. And these are all the different options. It still has a lot of options, but the shillings one has a lot more than this. You can change, like, I don't know, everything. Uh, but one thing that you want to see and you want to look is you have to have DirectX 11 
I guess it is installed and there an easy way to find that is go to your search here you put in DX Diag and you'll want to click that and it'll pop up somewhere I got I got like four screens on my computer so okay there we go and then yeah I got all kind of displays and sounds and everything so what we'll do is we'll go down here and we'll find one of these will be named Xbox controller okay and we'll take that vendor ID product ID write it down and we'll exit out of that and then back here in our Mach 3 screen well in that config that's where it goes vendor ID product ID and you'll just push OK okay and then that's pretty much it for setting it up then it'll work and then now we'll go into the shop and I'll show you how everything works on the machine and something special that you got to pay attention to on a CNC router parts uh, machine so we'll see you over there all right we're here in the shop and uh, yeah my shop's a mess I just got done cutting the big job I've show you here is a video on these coming pretty soon if you guys know what those are and that meme put it in the comments below those will be available for purchase here pretty soon but uh, all right so we're gonna go here's my Xbox controller but we're gonna go over how to uh, how it operates and stuff like that here in in Mach 3 but let me uh, sorry about the video it's all shaky and stuff I don't have a tripod or gyro or can't afford none of that stuff got this big old machine here so let me go ahead I mounted my electronics are all back here and uh, there's my computer and then there's my electronics I don't know if this is the best place for them yet but I built a custom little bracket that holds everything in there and whatever I got the NEMA 34 the electronics package so figured it was the easiest way than trying to you know build my own I don't know much about the electronics or anything like that so but here we go here we're in uh at the computer a little workstation I built for the computer just kind of hangs off the wall with all the spiders I get lots and lots and lots of spiders I don't like spiders but oh well so anyways here we go so what we're gonna do is we'll go into Mach 3 here and uh, let it open up I renamed my XML file that uh, provided by CNC router parts I don't know why I like renaming stuff like that but oh well all right so we're here in Mach 3 and then from before remember we'll go to config config plugins and then we see I was trying out the shilling one and I decided to go with the Xbox 360 controller one and to access the settings remember we'll go over here to config so remember that vendor ID product ID that's what I was saying you got to find by the DX Diag and I entered mine there so the way I got mine set up is the left shoulder here this little button on the shoulder is jog up that one's jog down left stick uh, side to side is X and then left stick up and down is is the Y axis and then we got Y buttons if you hold B buttons reset a button cycle start and side to side on the right stick I disabled because I only want it to go with the Z axis up and down none of the other buttons I got anything in there nothing fancy but on the CNC router parts uh, machine with the DIY electronics that you get uh, it has an Ethernet smooth stepper and uh, 
Corey over there at CNC Router Parts. He's the one that helps me out all the time. I'm probably his most annoying customer. I don't know why I call him all the time some stupid questions. But uh, he was saying that the Ethernet Smooth Stepper has a has like a buffer or a cache or something in there that uh, you don't want to move one axis and then the other axis at the same time. Uh, you want to let it come to a stop and then move the other access. So one easy way to do that, and one thing that's nice about this uh, controller instead of that Schillings one, is you can disable diagonal access movement. And uh, so I have that enabled, so it only allows me to uh, move one at a time. But uh, so then you push OK once you got it all set up the way you want to, and then we'll push OK there. And then we can go back over to our Xbox controller and I'll try to get, I don't know if I can get the whole machine and stuff in there, I don't know. But, and it's proportional, if you can hear it, to how hard I push. But there's a Y movement and then comes to a stop. But if you notice, when I come at diagonal, see I'm pushing diagonal down, it won't move. So it only does one axis at a time. So, and then you can do Z up, Z down. So, and then you have your, your other buttons in there. That's the main thing I wanted to show you is how to uh, set up that so you disable those diagonal moves so you allow the smooth stepper to uh, not be hurt. So it was suggested over there by the guys at Cory over at CNC Router Parts. So I figured I'd share with you guys because I hadn't heard any documentation on it or anything like that. So, But just wanted to give you a quick overview. It's real nice having the Xbox controller control it instead of using the... There's my keyboard on my musician stand and uh, I don't know you got to move it all around you got to push the arrow keys and uh, it's a real pain so just using the Xbox controller fortunately this one's wired and goes all the way back to the computer all the way back over there on the other side of the machine and uh, that's the only downside you can get a wireless one you just have to get the wireless dongle for the computer that goes in there and it's no big deal everything works the same so uh, yeah that's pretty much it so makes it real nice for setting it up especially the proportional moves and everything like that so that's just doing it it probably help you out quite a bit make sure though that I had tried another uh, Xbox controller that I had and it wasn't a genuine one and this is what a genuine one looks like if the camera would focus maybe I don't know it's supposed to in that little oval right there it's supposed to have a a watermark sticker or like a hologram sticker this one's missing it but it's a genuine Microsoft one so make sure you get a genuine Microsoft one I got this one from a pawn shop just down the road for like 20 bucks and uh, it seems to be working out pretty good so you can buy them on Amazon for 26 so I felt happy I saved six bucks I don't know you get a brand new one though for 26 instead of paying 20 at a pawn shop so but that's all I wanted to show you and uh, you guys got any questions let me know in the comments so you want me to make a video showing something else just make a suggestion in the comments or email me directly and I'll help you out with what you need all right thanks you guys want to see what I'm dealing with with these spiders see all the spider webs see all that every day they mess with my stuff see that big old spider right there huge here in Missouri, we have mutant bugs. See that? I don't like spiders. 
I don't even know what kind of spider that is. It's probably dangerous though. Look at that. That's horrible. Nobody wants nobody wants to see that. At least I don't. If anybody knows a good way to kill these spiders or relocate them, whatever needs to be done, let me know.